Xin chào mọi người và chúc mừng sinh nhật. Hello everyone, happy birthday. Welcome to another video. We're in Nachang. Today is sunny and nice. As you can see, it's, uh, I'm right past the central park of it. I'm walking down the street. I want to give you a little tour of where my area is. Uh, my hotel is around the corner here. Um, and uh, what I want to say about Nachang is that if you like to be where a lot of foreigners are, you come to Nachang, there's a lot of foreigners, all right? Um, you know, everywhere I go, I see like plenty of white guys because I'm a white guy, and so I blend right in. So it feels like home. Nanjing feels more like a, like a foreign country uh, than Vietnam. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like I come here, a lot of Russians, a lot of Germans, a lot of Europeans, and a lot of Koreans, and a lot of Chinese. So Nanjing is the city you want to be in if you want the alternative to working in Ho Chi Minh City. Because Ho Chi Minh City is just a working city, right? It's not really that fun. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's really fun, but you have to know where to go, right? But here in Nha Chang, you can just go right down the street and walk along the beach walk. I can walk for miles and miles because um, uh, I didn't do a video last night, but... Uh, oh, wow, there's some, uh, a little stop here. There's, there's, these people sell these um, mixed drink for 25K. That's a really good price, but they're not here right now. They usually do it at night. Uh, they do it usually at nighttime, and so uh, what I want to say is that you go from all the way from Vin Pearl, right? Vin Pearl is like way okay. So if I was going the street, you go away from Vin Pearl, and then you go all the way to the uh, marina on this side. And I'll show you the actually, oh, finger, it's on this side, way, way, way over there. But anyway, so I'll show you on the map. I'll put a map on. I'll let you know that uh, you know how how to get to from one end to the other end, and that's. That's pretty much Nat Chang, right? Uh, on, on a motorbike. And if you walk, that will probably take you like almost an entire day, or even longer probably. I don't know, you can probably walk from there all the way there. I mean, on a motorbike, it probably takes about uh, half an hour maybe. So walking and then you go out there, it'll probably take you about, yeah, I would say like a whole day. you probably make it up there. And so, um, but then you we have to come back. So you gotta walk one way, and then walk back to where you're at. So. Uh, you know, if I was, if I was walking here all the way to Vin Pearl, it's about uh, what time is it now? It's about um, um, it's about two o'clock now, right? Two o'clock now, and so uh, I yeah, I got out a little late. I was just uh, doing some editing and uh, uploading some videos, and, and so uh, I, I, I pretty much stayed in this morning. How uh, how Vietnam worked with, to do the their uh, you know location on the planet is like the UV index is really high early in the morning like from 10 to 12 it's like it hits like you know seven eight nine right so it's really hot and um, you know you want to wear like sunscreen and stuff like that because uh, like I said I'm a white guy when, when I, I, I right now I have a nice tan right but um, but you know what I'm saying like normally you want to have uh, you know some sunscreen on you you're walking around see like these three guys here they're they're probably Russians or from other countries and they're walking out with their shirt, you know, just wearing, wearing their socks. It's so hot. I'm telling you, it is hot. I mean, I'm wearing shorts and, um, and, and a nice shirt because, you know, I, I want to feel important because I'm an important person, right? DTBC in your area. I'm an important person because I'm just a nobody vlogger. Nobody watch my videos. Nobody like my stuff. <laughs> I want to cry every night. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever. Anyway, so uh, this is that uh, Vin Mart. I'm um, in Vin Comb. It has Vin Mart in it, and uh, a lot of Vin stuff. The guy who runs the Vin stuff, I think he runs this whole area because he has Vin Pearl, Vin Hotel, Vin Mart, Vin Fast. The guy who he's like he's like a billionaire, like a billionaire in like real you know, US and European money, like, you know, dollars and EU. He's like a billionaire, right? Because a billionaire here would be consistent with like a millionaire in the West. But he's like a billionaire. So, um, yeah, I, I, I do all the stuff. I've been in here. We could do a little tour of the Vin, uh, uh, you know, Vincom Plaza, but uh, it's just like any other shopping mall. I, I did the one in Saigon already. Uh, this is very similar, nothing different. It's just, you know, I don't really like to go in shopping malls. It's not my thing. Because uh, you go shopping mall, you go to pay for stuff, buy stuff. It's not really my thing, but um, uh, but you know, one shopping mall is one same. I've been I went to Lotte yesterday, and I thought about doing the Lotte Mart here in Nanjing. But when I walked around, it's the same um, same pricing, same kind of uh, 
you know layout as they had it in the in the one in uh, Ho Chi Minh City so most of the stores are very similar right you know in the big city like Ho Chi Minh and uh, like uh, you know uh, uh, Na Chang and Da Nang and all these places uh, this, is, uh, this is where they uh, do the military uh, people anyway so uh, I don't know what it is but that's what it is what it is so so what I'm gonna do is I want to give you like a little um, brief on Na Chang I, I have some videos on Na Chang um, you know how to ride around Na Chang and and my little advice about it but uh, this is a great way of kind of letting you know uh, Na Chang is one of those cities where if you want to live the beach life and you have some money and you don't, need, you don't need to work or you got money coming in elsewhere or uh, uh, your own stream of income that I would say Nai Chang is a better city for you than uh, Ho Chi Minh City because Ho Chi Minh City you know Saigon I, I used to call it Saigon Ho Chi Minh City is interchangeable but and and by, one guy asked me hey prove it I'm telling you Ho Chi Minh City Saigon is an island okay and I, 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 I'll make a video on that one person said, hey, it's not an island. Yes, it is an island. District 4 is an island. I think District 8 is also an island. So, uh, a lot of places in uh, Saigon's are island. So, uh, we're gonna cut across here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go around the corner because I wanna see what, what are shops in my area. So, I'm gonna turn around the corner. I walk. I have another video on about how to travel and how everything. But uh, we can go down here later. But I'm gonna travel on like just walk around your neighborhood, walk around your area to see uh, you know what you have and, and what's uh, available in your area. And I think that's kind of a good uh, philosophy to have. It's a good philosophy to have because uh, then you know what's going on in your area and your neighborhood, what stores are around you, right? So uh, I'm gonna do that, and that's what I'm doing right now while I'm talking to you and telling you what's going on uh, with the. Uh, Current situation in Vietnam. I think uh, Vietnam is really good right now to travel. You got United Day visa, multiple entry. Um, you got a whole bunch of good cities. It's very modern, you know. Uh, I think I think Vietnam is a lot more fun, personally for me. I think Vietnam is probably like the most fun out of all Thai. Um, you know, Thailand's fun too, but Thailand is a little bit more. Uh, that's expensive. I think Thailand's a little bit more expensive than Vietnam. Um, I, I did I did a video on uh, comparing Thailand or Bangkok or Saigon. Uh, to each other and I did find out that uh, Thailand is more expensive than Vietnam because the cost of living in Thailand is actually higher because because the economic of Thailand is a lot higher too there's more uh, people who work more successful people there and there's more income so everything's and the infrastructure is a little bit better so everything does cost more the only thing that's really good about Thailand is accommodation accommodation prices in Thailand is really uh, you know really low compared to accommodation prices in Vietnam. Vietnam is pretty cheap too, but I think you can, for long-term stay Thailand is a little bit better in that sense where you, you know on a monthly rate. It's better I would say on like on like a daily rate or a weekly rate if you can come for like one day two day or less than a week I think Vietnam is better for that, but if you're gonna go for long term like month to month I would say um, I would say uh, th uh, Thailand is better for that so that 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 that, that comparison I think Thailand is a little bit better so um with that said i'm gonna go turn around the corner and uh, i'll see what's uh coming on up and i'll uh, check in on you guys in just a little bit all right so i'm at the beach here and like i said na Chang has one of the nice beaches you know the day has nice beach too but Da Nang is not heavily used beach, which is uh, strange because you come to Nai Chang, the beach line, the coastline, there's more people using it. I don't really want to walk on the sand because I'm um, not wearing sandals and I don't like sand getting my feet. But I'm just telling you right now, the beach in Nai Chang is heavily used. So it's really good. Uh, I like Nai Chang uh, over Da Nang. That's just me. Um, I, I like it in the sense of like uh, it's a really good way of uh, enjoying yourself at beach life. There's no really uh, beach life in uh, in Da Nang. If you go to Da Nang, you'll see people, but you won't see people like you see in Nha Chang where they're all lining up, laying on the beach, you know, enjoying themselves. Cabanas everywhere, and oh, that's, that's one thing I I, I want to say that is that uh, 
Yeah, people shouldn't be on the grass, uh, on the roofs, on the dogs. So uh, one of the other things I want to say is that um, if you want to meet people who can speak English, a lot of English, I would say Nanjing is better than Ho Chi Minh City. Because in Nanjing, everywhere you go, they speak English, which is really, especially in the, uh, there's two parts of Nanjing. There's the part where you're on, on, on like, if you watch my other video on Nanjing, on the, uh, let me see, what's that? The south side is where all the foreigners are. And once you cross that little bridge, where the you know the Champa Temple is, is and on that side is more it's more Vietnamese, and it's just that it's just been that way. I, I just know that there's more foreigners on this side, and, and then there's less foreigner on that side. But um, but there's still a lot more foreigners overall here, and I would say um, the beach here is really nice. Uh, it's really green. It's quite clean. Uh, depending on uh, where you want to swim, I don't recommend swimming near the. Uh, the sewage, uh, not sewage, but like the water runoff because that's kind of like a sewage thing but let me give you a shot of this uh, Nat Chang thing, it's kind of cool you see that, you see that? yeah, just like here it's, uh, it's nice today, today's about, I would say 90 degrees, 89, 88 degrees, that's roughly about 30 C uh, I, I, I usually tell, say things in Fahrenheit and so uh, yeah, so that's usually where I uh, uh, use my temperature rating and stuff like that. And uh, if you want to see what some of the park rules are, here's a, here's a, here's a v here's the part. This part this part's owned by Vin Pearl. Uh, this little section, and they got their own little uh, rules on how to swim. So if I walk in, I'll get me sand in my shoe. Wear sunscreen, wear a hat, wear a cover, that's why I'm doing that. Uh, don't go naked, don't go topless, if you're women, don't swim too far, don't swim past the red flag. Because there's you know there's a certain amount where you can go and a lifeguard can save you, but beyond that, you're on your own. You're on your own. Yeah. So that said, uh lots of cute Russian girl. You don't see too many foreigners, they have a certain shape and a certain look that you don't get with uh, Asian women. I, th I think European women and like Western women have a certain look. You know, the sharp edges in their face and certain features that look really good uh, or you know that that is considered attractive and so uh, you'll get that more here in Natyang as well if you like that kind of look which I do uh, but um, but there's more and more uh, Vietnamese women and men doing plastic surgery uh, it's kind of trending. I've noticed that when I was in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, I was, uh, you know, I've been here for like, like I said, four, four years or five years or whatever. And I, I uh, in Vietnam, and I've noticed when I came back, a lot of people have like, you can tell when they're wearing plastic surgery that by the way their nose are shaped and their eyes and everything. And it's just uh, they, they, they look way too edgy. You know what I mean? It's not natural. It looks like like there's like a little, you know, like a little bar, a little silicone or whatever, keeping it all together. But um, you know, it's each their own. They like plastic surgery, but guess what? When you're 60 years old and your skin's all sagging and that, that thing's still holding up, it's gonna look really weird, you know? So uh, that's just my take on it. Yeah, so if you wanna meet girls, wanna meet people like that here in Nat Chang, uh, I think meeting girls here are pretty easy to meet. Uh, that's just my opinion as well. Uh, I think more easier to meet here than in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, Ho Chi Minh City has more places to hang out. When I say hang out, I mean like coffee shops, I mean like cool, uh, you know, trendy things to do. Yeah. But here, if you like the beach, like me, girl, like you know, do do your thing, and in, in, in the rooms, hotels, uh, I'm telling you, that Chang's is really good for that. Uh, so you can really get what you want out here. Prices are good too. 